Okay, guys, uh, it's great to be here. I'm really happy that we get to do the podcast today. Um, it's our final Smartless It's our final ever. Smartless <laughs> is, ever. Uh, a very special Smartless. Don't say that. People are going to people are going to think that finish that's strong real. and this guest oh, yeah. is wow. really what it's a great amazing. final guest. Our final episode. Right? It's, our not final, final, it's not final. It's not final. People think ever. it's the final episode. Uh, it's wait, not it's not our final episode. Let us finish no. for today. For it today, will be it's our, our last Sean, don't cut us off, rude. Well, for today, but for today. For today, this, this is our final final Smartless ever. But, ever. But not today. For today. today. No. Sean with the cutting off. Welcome to Smartless. Smart. I put the do in douche. <laughs> That'll be our first line of this episode, right there. <laughs> we just found our I in. I put the do in douche. Not good for me. Wait a second. That's... Wait, you're said. Will joke's over. When are you coming home? I know. Uh, soon, right? End of this week, maybe. Yeah, end of this week. I'm actually really God. looking forward to it. You were going to come home a little early, weren't I you? Was, threatening to do that. Yeah, I was. It, well, first of all. Um, how, Jason. When, Jason, when were you here? Uh, remember you were going to come and you called I me? I was like, going to hey. come, but... And then but, you never but followed up. The he, dude came here. No the way. The dude came here, yeah. What are so, you talking about? So, Sean, are you, are you... Did I tell you this when I saw you? What did I see you yesterday? Are you sure? You, can we talk about this? Wait, did I see you yesterday? I saw you yesterday. No, I saw you Saturday. 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 I talked to Sean last night. I, I phoned... I, I Facebooked you phoned him, him, Granddad? FaceTime bombed him. That was really funny. Oh my god, they were freaking out. Anyway, keep going. He was with a bunch of he was with lesbians, and I was like, Yeah, you don't have to tell me they're lesbians. I got it. <laughs> he did no, that. let's go deeper on that. Can we have names? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, Jason, tell me what were you gonna say? So uh I don't know if I can talk. Well, I guess I can talk about this. I can just kind of skid along the top of it. Uh my eldest, uh yes. uh, my 15-year-old daughter. We talked um, a little bit about this, but keep going. Yeah, so she went to Europe this summer in a camp, um, and uh, she fell in love. And uh, this so guy, sweet. he lives in New York. Um, he is currently married, has three kids, but, you know. <laughs> she, <laughs> but you can always work it out. Him. You can work through it. She so loves <laughs> She loves him. No, he's, uh, he's her age. He's 15, and um, she was going to fly out there and see him in New York because they'd, they'd been done with camp for a couple of weeks, and she yeah. was starting to really miss him. This this whippersnapper gets a hold of my wife mm -hmm. this um, and works out a whole surprise to come out and see Franny. Yeah. And visit and surprise Franny. So uh -huh. this guy's been here posting up in my house for uh, three days and yeah. just extended his trip another three days as of today. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. He's there now. Yeah, here now. It's the, and, he's, and he's staying with you. Staying yeah. with us. There's Wait, rules. There's what? rules. There's rules. Know, he's an angel, rules, though. He clearly needs no rules. He just he seems nice to, kid. to drop straight from heaven. Nice kid. <laughs> but tell, Very tell, nice. tell Will what you did to keep the surprise from Franny. Oh, well, you know, it was the whole thing about like, well, him landing and then, you know, getting a ride to the house. And then do we, do we have her, you know, like run into him in a coffee shop here no, next to the house? Uh, or should we have him just kind of be in the house and have her come downstairs? And, you know, Amanda and I were trying to Jump think, out well, of the cake. Well, yeah, Jim. come out. Yeah, we didn't want to. Here, just getting this cake. I was really set on trying to preserve the moment that she sees him. That yeah. we're not, you know, having you know two cameras rolling and making right, sure because right. you know, of course, that's what we want and that's what his mom wants. But anyway, we kind of we kind of did a little of each, and uh, I think it was a big success. But you told her to, you told her to kind of get gussied up for a photo or something. Wasn't it? Oh yeah, because Amanda Amanda thought, well, gosh, you know, if I was surprised and I didn't look my best. Uh, um, I'd be upset at whoever surprised me. So <laughs> Amanda, Amanda yes, yeah, said that she <laughs> had to like brand, she had to God. get like her passport picture retaken or some sort of picture <laughs> that the photographer was nice enough to come over to the house. And so just uh -huh. make sure you comb your hair before you come downstairs, kind of. Thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was really really. Yeah, cute. I love that story. It's so Very sweet. Cute. Yeah. It's. I know, so and you have video. You'll show me video later. 
We've got video. So you um, did shoot it. You filmed it with a crew. We did film it, but it was at a tasteful distance. <laughs> full you know? crew from Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> I had, have, I you ever had, seen uh, the, have you ever seen uh, Alone? It's the same production crew that shoot that works on Alone. <laughs> well, the nice shout out for oh Alone. God. Will, have you do, have you uh, gotten Dude, into Alone Frozen yet? It. Dude, I am in Alone. We took a break for... I'm now in Alone, the couple, the first one where they do couples. Uh, yeah. You know, like so so and, you, you met your Canadian guys. How oh, about yeah, those from Canadian Toronto. fellas? Are those guys not the best? Oh, I gotta watch. But that. they are such graduates of Hoser U. They're from Toronto, <laughs> and, and the one of them says to his brother, he goes, <laughs> and I noticed the casual swearing by Canadians is so off the charts. That no, nobody gets beat more on those shows than Canadians. He's like, "Fuck it, hell of a day, eh?" <laughs> <laughs> so it's just be hell of a day, so eh? Funny. And I'm just like, oh, these guys are, uh, they're beauts. The guy goes, he's fishing. He's like, fuck, I better catch something or I'm just going to stab myself in the face, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I forget how far they make it. Um, but um, it's, so, it's so good. Wait, I are you love... talking about the new one? It's like alone. No, no, no. That's season nine. He's not there yet. I'm past that and now going to start uh, the, the spinoff, the, uh, the ex-champions that they drop into a frozen tundra. This is called uh, Alone Frozen. Uh, I haven't started oh, I it see, yet, yeah, but I've got a couple episodes I'll all be, banked I'll up. I'll be into that. Oh, wait, by the way, I speaking of gussing yourself up, I got a facial the other day, and the woman, when I'm done, she says, by the way, Will, it's the same spa that I got you a gift card for. Dude, wait, how <laughs> often? Will, Will, Will has six jokes already, just right off the facials. word facial. I'm, I'm yeah. about facial. Yeah, with just, just, <laughs> well, in you love face. a facial. Uh, jizz in my face. Uh, right. Did, you, okay. did you, uh, you gave a facial, or you <laughs> got one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know which joke to use. I don't know. Uh, There's so many okay, jokes. so wait. <laughs> um, wait, Sean, so you go, you get a facial? So I got a facial, and when I was done... The woman says, um, the woman says, your scalp wow, is too tight. Wow, good for you. <laughs> stop seeing Jason, them up, Sean. You got to be quicker. Jason, stop laughing. because When, <laughs> when I was done, she okay. says to me, I mean, drop the ellipses and okay. keep our net okay. out. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. When I was done, the woman turns to me and says, your scalp is too tight. You think too much. And I said, sorry, excuse me. She says, you need to stop thinking so hard. And I'm like... What Boy. does that even mean? You must have got a real deal on her. <laughs> I had a, uh, I, I, I did not have a facial today or give one, but I did, <laughs> I did have a, like a face, what do they call it? Like face gym or something. This person comes and they like, it was, <laughs> Alessandra set it up and they did this thing. They, they like manipulated my face and moved uh -huh. it all around, did all this stuff. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. A face gym. So like, yeah. Face, like cheek push-ups and things no, like that. Yeah, they come and they do all this stuff and then with this electromagnetic thing and do all this stuff. And it was like, I've never had it. I've had three facials, I think, in my life. Yeah. Uh, they were great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I just forget. It's nice. They're nice. I forget They're to nice, do it. They're nice because, you know. You look good. Your skin looks very good. Sean, you look very good. Thanks. thanks. Will, you look good. You look great. Really I'm fill thanks, out man. a V-neck I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm currently in a relationship, so. <laughs> well, but uh, you're coming out here, right? You're coming out, you're changing so, area codes? So. Okay, so wait, guys, before we get to our guests, I have an official announcement. Oh, boy. Is yes, it facial related? What's that? <laughs> what did you say? I asked if it was facial related. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I got Will mid-sip. I literally, mid -sip. Yeah. I literally no, it's not facial related. Okay, so. The play I did at the Goodman Theater in Chicago earlier this year, it's called Goodnight Oscar. This is the official, official announcement that it's going to Broadway. No way. Yes. Performances begin April 7th. Oh, wow. And if you go to goodnightoscar.com, that's goodnightoscar.com. Spell you'll, it. You'll be one of the Spell first. Spell it. G-O-O-D-N-I-G-H-T-S-O-S-C-A-R. It's not K-N-I, this, this is the sword no, play like, you're doing, it's right? it's like good morning, good night. You'll oh. be one of the first to get tickets if you go to goodnightoscar.com. Uh, tickets go on sale today. So I hope you call and get excellent seats. Good it's a great night, show. Good night, Oscar. Wow. That's this great. is not the Excalibur one act you were doing. No, it's not. Okay. And it's going to open at the Belasco Theater, which is huge. I mean, it's great theater. And it's, I've heard it's a little haunted. So that's going to be exciting. That is great. Thank Congratulations, you, you. Shawnee. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm afraid of no ghosts, by the way. It should be mentioned. <laughs> um, no, but Shawnee, Shawnee, congratulations. He had Thank a you, very honey. successful run in Chicago, listener, and yeah. he has yeah. earned this. So um, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to see it. Uh, Will, are you still thinking about it? Up in the air. Up in the air. About going to see it? Yeah. yeah. And we of don't course. want your matinee I, money. I always came, I always, I almost came, I almost came to Chicago and I couldn't do it in the one weekend I had in Atlanta. Anyway. Yes, I'm going to be there. Are you kidding? Well, carpool. Thank you, you guys yeah. for being so supportive. I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm so show. happy for you. Sharon. All right, guys. So our guest today, boy, does she make me laugh a lot. But funny enough, 
that's not what she gets paid the big bucks to do. She was signed to a major record label at just 15 years old. Oh, my God. She eventually released her first album under a different name Janet than what we know her as today. Jackson. Janet Joplin. Janet Joplin. Self- Janet Joplin. Janet Joplin. <laughs> the self-titled album was heavily influenced by her Christian upbringing, which I'm going to ask her about, too. She celebrated in the LGBTQ community, winning many awards for her advocacy and philanthropy. Guys like me have some pretty badass empowerment anthems because of her strength. Please welcome the fantastic, the fabulous, Katy Perry. What? What? Katy. Hi. Katy. That was a long Perry. wait for you, Katy. That was a long wait. You don't have to wait that long for anything. Katy, you don't have to wait that long. Katie, you yeah, could have just don't hung have up on us. Did you hear yeah. me cracking my knuckles? I was like, guys, oh, my child that. just woke up from a nap. She's desperate to see her mommy. Let's go. Oh, oh is that sure. true? Well, not really, but Okay, yes. let's get right into the baby okay. stuff. Uh, how, is, how is the kidnapping, boy or girl? She's a girl. Um, she's about to be two years old. She's doing okay. Um, but, you know, I am working a lot, and I've always worked a lot, and kind yeah. of been a, a matriarchal figure. Yes, you have And been. Um, I have a wonderful nanny, but I don't have a full-time nanny because I feel like if I had a full-time nanny, then I would never be able to know how to like care for my daughter right like i'm right. meant to and so therefore any day i get off i'm just like in mom mode like yeah. it doesn't matter if i've had a show that goes to 11 p.m the night before i'm waking up at six o'clock and we're going to go and do breakfast and yes i have the no sleep shakes yeah. but um yeah so i'm i'm doing mom mode today and my sister tapped in to to do some play-doh while we're having a little chat. So well, thank that. you for taking the time. Away. I think I think <laughs> I think as much it. help as you can get. Uh, my just for what it's worth, uh, it always made me a better parent, like, so that I could refill my my patience tank and my compromise tank and whatever that is. I I, I don't think there's. I think help is great as much as you. Can oh, of get. course. I mean, it's we're like super blessed, and I'm so grateful. But I also, you know, like want to participate and like right. yeah. yeah yeah i want like every she's two so she's at that point where it's like she's saying new words every day and the other day she was just saying some words that i didn't teach her and i was like damn it that doesn't feel good oh yeah, yeah are you yeah. getting uh, uh, now so she's two so then she's walking around oh yeah oh yeah are you oh, have yeah. you have all the corners padded and all that stuff yeah still i actually overheard uh your conversation about the new boyfriend yes yeah. Yes. I, mean, I think you got to look at the bright side of this is that he's on your turf. Yeah. She's not over there. No. Yeah. yeah. Not Just texting you yeah. back. He's yeah. literally in your house. So if, if you wanted to set up that extra ring camera and throw it in like a old yeah. stuffed teddy bear in the bedroom, you know, you could do it. Might that. see stuff I don't want to see. Sure. Yeah. I might see yeah. stuff yeah. I don't want to see. Now, are that. you getting help from dad? Yeah. Dad's is dad doing, around? Of course. Dad is the best. Um, but actually, I was a little tardy for this call because he had just called me to let me know he was alive because he's in the Bahamas right now filming a show um, where he goes to kind of just the edge of everything extreme and he's doing an episode on free diving. So he just wow. free dove like over 100 feet. And uh, for my sister, Tracy, you're talking about Orlando Bloom. Yes, Orlando Bloom, yeah. yeah. Um, and so he was just calling me to check in and tell me that he's still around, mm -hmm. um, which I'm grateful for because it's been a few days he's been... Um, learning how to um, do all these kind of extreme sports. He's filming a show for Discovery, and it's just like, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. But wow. you know, No stunt sports. doubles allowed Sean in that. Sean can relate. He, he <laughs> has his own stunt you got to go in toes first, uh -huh. right? Will used to do a lot of, lot of uh, did, in Acapulco, he did some free diving. you got to go in toes well, first, you, you lose you your toenails on that. you that footage of me. Yeah, 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 sure, from back <laughs> in the day. And we will be right back. Smartless is supported in part by Delta Airlines. You know, Jason and I just went on vacation this summer. We went to the Bahamas. I've never been to the Bahamas. I thought it was pretty spectacular. And when I came home, I kind of felt like a new person. The experience was fantastic, not just because of my friend Jay, but because of the whole experience of traveling. When you travel well, you arrive feeling better than when you left. Isn't that how every trip should be? With new premium experiences on the ground and in the air, Delta Airlines raises the bar sky high. 
Because it's not about where you're going, it's about how much you enjoy the journey. Wherever you travel, a better experience awaits with Delta Airlines. New plant-based dishes provide more sustainable alternatives for in-flight dining, along with organic, gluten-free, nutrient-packed snacks. And select Delta Sky Clubs offer locally sourced food and beverages through Delta's Fresh Farm program. With Delta Airlines, you'll enjoy premium products that are better for people and the planet. Like eco-focused amenity kits handmade by someone somewhere artisans, generating more than 250 jobs in five of Mexico's most vulnerable states and eliminating almost all single-use plastic in their amenity kits. Wherever life takes you, travel well with Delta Airlines. Visit delta.com slash travel well to learn more. This episode is brought to you in part by Think. Strength isn't just for the gym. It's for every activity we do. So add protein, cut the sugar, and think strong with Think. It's a high-protein bar that gives you the strength you need to wake up, walk, run, drive, do everything strong. Think protein bars are deliciously gourmet and high-protein. There are tons of flavors to choose from, and get this, some flavors have zero grams of sugar, others as low as two grams. You're getting quality ingredients without sacrificing taste. What do I like about Think Bars? I like the brownie crunch. Why? Because look at me. I look like I like brownies. It's got 20 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, low GI, gluten-free, GMO-free. So when I need to get jacked and I need energy and like all that stuff to get off the couch, I go, I grab a brownie crunch Think Bar and I eat it and I sit right back on the couch. It's like full circle, so satisfying. The day is long, so snack strong, think strong. Head to thinkproducts.com to learn more. Thanks to Native for their support. I love the sun this time of year, but when it comes to protecting my skin from it, that's a whole other story. Some sunscreens always leave me feeling sticky or greasy after applying, but thanks to Native sunscreen, I get both face and body protection that's lightweight and doesn't leave me feeling sticky or greasy. Didn't you hate when people say greasy? Just say greasy. With Native, you get broad-spectrum SPF 30 mineral sunscreens that don't leave heavy greasy sunscreen feel native offers lightweight non greasy formulas that are easy to spread and blend seamlessly on all skin tones leaving a matte finish with zero streaks get the zents of summer like coconut and pineapple rose or for those with sensitive skin try the unscented all native sunscreen is made from plant and mineral-based ingredients like naturally derived non-nano zinc oxide. Native has your back with face and body formulas. Native's face sunscreen is made with avocado oil, yum. And their body sunscreen contains vitamin E, even yummier. I love the coconut and pineapple scent because I love pina coladas. I not only want to drink pina coladas all day, I want to put it all over my freaking body. I love that smell. You know, it smells tropical, smells fresh. It smells like it's also working on my body. It's protecting the sun. So if I drink a pina colada, it's protecting my stomach from the sun. If I put it on my skin, it's protecting the skin from the sun. Protect your skin with Native's mineral-based sunscreens. Go to nativedo.com slash smartless or use promo code smartless at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash smartless or use promo code smartless at checkout for 20% off your first order. nativedeo.com slash smartless or use promo code smartless. All right, back to the show. Wait, Katie, I want to talk about, by the way, I've like, I know you have to like transfer out of like mom mode for a second and be here to talk about all this stuff. I wear I so to... many fucking hats. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay, come on. Good. Let's do all it. All right. So I did not know your real name was Kate Hudson. Katie Hudson. It, well, yeah, it's, it's Catherine Hudson. My, Catherine yeah, Hudson. It's, but people called me Katie Hudson, but. I didn't know that. In the beginning, I decided not to do that because. Yeah. How did you quit, settle on Perry? My mother's maiden name, Perry. So if Roger. we were living in a matriarchal society, it would have just been easy. Right. Have you cornered Kate Hudson at a party and told her to back off and to give give you the name yeah. back? No, we're, we're we're best friends. We we um we get along. That was actually the first thing that we got along on. But how she's, could you not get along with her? She's just she's effervescent. Is yeah. the word I think? Yeah, she's so sweet. She's just like 
I can do anything. Yeah. I've got children. I can cook. I'll show yep. you how to do my yoga pose. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, speaking of poses, the first time I met you was very brief backstage at either Madonna or Janet Jackson. I can't remember. But I think it was probably Madonna. Madonna. And I didn't stick around because Madonna was like two, three hours late. I was like, I'm old. I got to go to bed. I get it. But I saw you backstage. And the first time, we didn't even say hello. I go, Katie. I go, you have Sean. And we both did the lion's pose because we have the same vocal coach. Oh, yeah. Remember that? We stuck our hands out. Uh, uh, like that. And it, Eric Vitro. Shout Eric out. Eric Vitro, yeah. He's the, the most greatest. iconic. He's like kind of like, um, he's quirky St. Clair in a Christopher Guest <laughs> movie. He really is. He's like a little, he's like a character from a Christopher Guest movie. Quirky he's St. the greatest. Claire. And the greatest vocal coach ever. Got me through Broadway. He's amazing. If I had if I had his name, my business I would call my business in vitro. Of That's course. right. Of course. Right. How would you not? Of course. How the fuck would you not? Right. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. So Sean came up to you at a, Sean came up to you at a uh, after Madonna. a concert, yeah. and then did no the, before. Oh, before the concert. Yeah. And were you on your? So you went to Janet Jackson, and then Madonna. Were you on your way to share, or was that? <laughs> The, the Holy Trinity? Yeah. Do you, know, you mean? Sean, no, I was like, Sean, the Holy Trinity? The Trinity was Sean, complete with Katie there. Sean, you know that Katie doesn't know that I was actually a backup dancer uh, for yes. Janet Jackson. Um, Will was on an episode of Will and Grace where we were both backup dancers to Janet Jackson. And Sean anyway. and I had a dance-off, and I was in Janet Jackson's <laughs> band. Jason, you were there that night. Yeah. I was there. So, true story. Wait, sure. go back to just for one second with Eric Vitro. Do you, do you still um, use him and call him up because you're doing a Vegas show? Is it every night yes. you do the Vegas show? No, I do it in like three week installments. How much um, you get for that? But How much money do they pay you for that? You don't have to answer that. Don't listen uh, to him. It, it allows me the it allows me the ability to drop my daughter off at preschool and then mommy goes to work and comes back That's home nice. the next day. So it's like <laughs> it's like a it's such a great routine, you know. It's like yeah. it's something that like pop stars love to do and, and check off the box. But it's also I get to create an incredible, crazy, crazy show that I can't tour with because I couldn't possibly move all these absurd props that are on the stage. But do I call him every single time I sing? No, I actually have a recording. Yeah, of I do too. Of, yeah. yeah, and it's like from like 10 years ago. And Yeah, it's the best. You know. Do you know, so you know Eric Vitro, do you know Skevo? <laughs> That's uh, the that's, guy who cuts my hair. That's Sean's beautician. <laughs> right. um, Sean's uh, well, we all know uh, each other. This community, we're all just we don't we just all hang. Right. So <laughs> in in Vegas, so you do three weeks at a time at your yeah. what, what is it? What is the place? What is the uh, venue? It's at Resorts World. Resorts um, World, which is the newest hotel on the Strip. Gotcha. And it's right next to the Wynn. And um, I started it out in. On New Year's Eve, I think, or a couple days before New Year's Eve. Just and this past year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm there for this year, and I'll be doing some more shows. I'll do my last kind of uh, announced run so far, and it depends if we'll go next year, um, is in October. So so you do three weeks on, one week off, three weeks on, one week off? All year, no, October? No, I don't do that. Actually, it's actually, it's kind of crazy. It's three weeks on, and then sometimes six to nine weeks off. Oh, that's and, a nice gig. And I, it's really easy to become Fat Elvis in between. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Incredible. So listen, Katie, um, I've always, this is so cool that you're here, so thank you. I mean, it is you know. very cool to have you on. Oh, this stop. Is, this I'm, is not... I only, I'm only doing this because of, it's divided between Sean and Amanda. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to yeah. tell her. It's, and most, it's, it's just, mostly Amanda. I love you, Sean, but Amanda, she's... No, I get it. I get it. We all love Amanda. She's pretty great. Will, Will loves the, Amanda. She's the real boss of this podcast. I think Will talks to Amanda more than I do. We, we all... True. Everybody loves Amanda. Yeah. Well, she has... Next fall on NBC. She's my, yeah. she's my most frequent FaceTimer. Um, um, but... Wait, wait, Kitty, can I go back to... Uh, uh, Sean was... Uh, uh, I want to talk about, like, we talked about you going to Vegas and doing this stuff. What was, for you, musically, like, what was, I don't know... Who are your idols growing up? Who are the yeah. people you're like, I want to be like that. I want to sound like that. Like, this is the kind of shit I want to do. Uh, Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette changed my life. Oh, wow. That was yeah. the record that changed my How life. How old were you when that came out? Well, that's rude to I ask, was, but I just... I, don't, I mean, I'm 37, so I don't know. Same, I was like same, early same. 20s. or I mean, yeah. I was late teens. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, late teens. God, that was so good. That was a good record. But before that, Queen... Queen was like the num Freddie Mercury was yeah. Yeah. amazing. I only listened to gospel music I know. my whole life up until I was about 13. And then I discovered like a greatest hits of Queen and the White Album from 
the Beatles and Pet Sounds from the Beach Boys. And those three compact discs yeah. were on yeah. Rotate. That, that was it. That's that was amazing. It. So, were you not were you allowed not to allowed? listen to other? Oh, that's what I was saying. Guys, don't fight. Don't Sean fight. Jinks. <laughs> Yeah. No, I wasn't allowed. I was raised in a very um, Christian, uh, but it's like they call it born again Christian. So it's yeah. like it's very kind of emotional and like it's new wave. Don't call it new age, but it's it's not like it's not like a Catholic. It's like it's pretty radical Christian. But yeah. no music sounds sounds more like boring again. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, actually, there's a whole like I mean, there's like you all don't have kinds to take of that shit from them, Kate. No, she's with me. You're not offending me, please. Um, but no, I grew up with listening to gospel music and Christian music, and there's like a whole there's a whole uh, Christian music world out there that have yeah. their own type of Grammys. I mean, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's huge, right? Huge. Yeah, huge, it's huge. massive. Really? Do you mind if I ask uh, how, how big a uh, religion plays in your life currently? Currently? Yeah. Uh, religion. Organized? No. Mm. I don't believe in the way that um, I was raised. Yeah. Um, organized religion is not necessarily for me. Yeah. Um, I'm a big, big seeker. Um, yeah. Orlando mm -hmm. is a devout Buddhist and he chants every morning, mm -hmm. mostly. And so um, I kind of follow a little bit more of his philosophy or just the Buddhist philosophy, but um, I'm actually just like a, a seeker of all of it. I mean, yeah. like from mysticism to math to geometry to right. like physics, lots of science. Right. There's something bigger yeah. up there that... It somehow explains all of this beautiful miracle stuff, but what 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 that thing is can be for anybody's choosing kind of thing? I mean, I'm sure it's ultimately going to be something. I don't know if it's anyone's choosing, but yeah. I'm sure. No, but I mean, whatever they want to call it, right? Buddha or... I have some, I have some freaky, not freaky, but like there's, there's some thoughts that I entertain. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. That explains yeah. it all kind of thing? I mean, I'm into simulation theory. I'm into like NPCs. I'm, sure. let's, let's I'm into all just, of it. Let's somebody just it. walked me through the simulation thing uh, last weekend. What's the simulation? Have you guys heard about that? Well, I don't. I mean, I I've never been walked through. That it. were a part of a simulation. Yeah, but like for instance, my brother is a big gamer and he's into crypto, and I'm into crypto and all that. All that stuff, but um, they were watching like the X Games of, of video gaming yesterday, um, and yeah. it was like it was literally just video gamers on their computers, you know, with their fancy uh, chairs, playing uh, FIFA or playing soccer. Right. And um, there was a stadium full of people watching these people play their characters, their avatars, and I was like, well, isn't that already happening? Is this like meta? Meta? Is this happening with us? Is someone? Potentially playing right, with us. us. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we're figuring out how to play another game. And, you know, the metaverse is just like the next dimension of our reality. I don't know. Right. We'll see. Something just outside of what we can see. And perhaps this is all sort of happening at a, in another place. And we think we're here, but we're really not kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, and I don't even smoke weed. I'm not right. even allowed to smoke weed because you don't yeah. want no, to you, smoke it weed. It sounds like yeah. you're making it. I mean, what <laughs> are you talking about? Listen. It sounds like I'm microdosing now. <laughs> here's here's the other thing to keep in mind. I I, I have had those thoughts too where, I, where it's that whole like, are we in the matrix, all that kind of shit. Yeah, I love and, that. And, and I have to be honest. I, I had it quite recently, and to a certain degree, I thought, uh, so I, if I am, I, I actually don't want to know. <laughs> because what's yeah, this the is point? pretty intense to try and process <laughs> any of that information. <laughs> now, what was the other thing you said? So, simulation, and what was your MMT? No. Uh, NPC. What is that? that? What is that? Non player character. Non player N character. N NPC. It's like it's like that uh, free guy free guy movie. That's that's yeah. what I saw that. movie was yeah. all about. That background people that are not uh, actively participating in life. And they oh, are right. they're like so. And, and it's a reference to basically my dad uh, or Katie. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, characters who are or who are extras in video games who just kind of yeah. walk around and don't or aren't actually part of the thing. They're, they're, wow. They're, that's wow. I think it's a, I think it's maybe a, a sociopathic way to explain it, but. I mean, it, on a more esoteric spiritual level, maybe it's just people that 
people that lack awareness or consciousness. I feel like as yeah. soon as that that the headset thing, the 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 virtual the reality thing, VR, yeah, yeah, when that really like takes over. I feel like we're going to have a bunch of those people. They're just yeah. like, well, why should I go out? I got this perfect environment yes. that I could just kind of put on my head. Yeah. I can stay in my air-conditioned house, and I can really kind of go wherever I want. Have you done that, Jason, before? Have you put? Have no, you but I, from what I hear about it, it sounds fantastic. Yeah, and, because and the second are, you take it kids off. Kids do it all the time. The like, second you take it off, and you forget, oh, gosh, I'm in my living room. It really transports you to another world. Like, it's crazy. But, yeah. but it's really simple. We're just from aliens, period. That's it. We're all just stars bound to a body. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. right. Guys. I've been saying it for years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Katie, I want to talk about your, just you for a second and like your I songs we and music and everything. Yeah. I know we are, but I want to talk about like, I just, you know, I'm obsessed. So uh, <laughs> first of all, I just have to say this, you know, for as long as we live, uh, Mariah Carey will have a Christmas song that will be played every single holiday season called All I Want for Christmas forever. And there's mm. only a handful of people that have anthems like to a holiday and stuff. But for as long as we have the next 10,000 years, 4th of July, they will always play Firework by Katy Perry for Great the song. rest of yeah. our life. Great song. I mean, yeah. isn't that cool? Um, Apparently for 10,000 years. Yeah. 10,000 <laughs> years contract. until the, the next uh, polar shift. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then all the pop stars yeah. start over. None, none of us are living more than 40 more years on this planet. Keep going, Sean. Yeah, no, that's, that's the polar shift. Yeah. Um, no, but that's just like, obviously. It's so great. I'm so, look, I'm so, I'm grateful. I know, it's, 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 so you don't grateful. have to say anything. I just think it's so cool. And, it's the best. Yeah, I mean, and that you didn't write it for that purpose, but it became that thing. And now every 4th of July, we just hear that. I think it's so cool. I just think it's It's, cool. it's wild, you know, you guys know because you guys have a lot of, I mean, all of you have been in, in, in you know, Stuff. success for a long time for more than a decade, it's like in the beginning, there's a lot of anxiety and worry yeah. and doubt and fear and blah, blah, blah. And then you just keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. And then 10 years pass and then 15 years pass and you're, and you're like, oh, this is going to be okay, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah, going to be yeah. okay. And the more the more I decide to live, yeah. the better I get at living it, you know? Yeah, yeah. The more you decide to live, meaning the, the less you pay attention to, to business and the aspirations and the ambition and stuff and more about, like, personal life you, you focus on? I mean, yes, but no, I'm, I'm just saying that, like, you know, I, I, I don't come from anything, so I just, I'm grateful that yeah. I've mm. been able to scale these heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say that I didn't dream of these heights because I totally did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, just because you dream it doesn't mean you always get the opportunity to do right, it. Right, but, your, but no. your work ethic, I mean, it's like song after song, album after album is just massively globally huge. It's just unbelievable. Thank you. You know, where does that come from where you just like, you know what, I got to get another album and another album and another album and all the people that you collaborate with. Childhood drama. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Same. Same. Childhood trauma, uh, it, it is the gasoline for all art <laughs> for a long, long time until it turns against you. <laughs> we'll be right back. Smartless is supported, wink, wink, by Helix. Get it? Because Helix is a mattress and it supports your body. So I love my Helix mattress because, uh, by the way, I got the Dusk Lux mattress. And I've had it for like a year. And here's what's fun about it. The dog, my dog, Ricky, he's like 100 pounds. No joke. He gets up on the Helix mattress with me to go to sleep. And all night long, it's, it's like he wants to sleep this way, this way, this way. And it doesn't matter because every position that he or I sleep in or Scotty, it's uh, super comfortable. We all sleep great. He'll come up to the top. I'll move down to where, where Ricky was, not Scotty. And then, or we'll switch like, it's constantly switching around and you never wake up. It's great. You wake up like in a completely different position than you went to sleep because that's how deep you sleep. Helix Sleep is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. The Helix lineup includes 14 unique mattresses, including a collection of luxury models, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. Is there anything worse than going to a mattress store and laying down on a mattress you know hundreds of people have tried out before you while an overeager sales associate asks you probing questions? Order a Helix mattress online and receive easy, no contact delivery. So how will you know which Helix mattress works best for you and your body? Take the Helix Sleep Quiz. 
and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. You should never have to compromise on comfort. Helix has mattresses with cooling technology that helps regulate your body temperature, whatever the season. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash smartless. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Smartless is supported, wink, wink, by Viore Clothing. That's going to be my new thing because, like, supported can be applied to many things. And clothing supports certain areas of your body. It's a physics. Of it. If you're tired of traditional old workout gear, you got to check out Viore. Their product is incredibly versatile. It can be used for just about any activity, like running, like training, like swimming, like yoga. But it's also great for lounging or weekend errands. You know, I stayed up all night thinking about what activity that they couldn't be used for, and I couldn't think of any except one, skinny dipping. Everything they make is designed to look great in everyday life outside the gym. My personal experience wearing Viore, it is spectacular. What if I was like, God, it was awful. I would never say that. I would say it's amazing because it's true. You just go on the website, you find the thing that you need, you click on it, you get it in every color, and now you have one for the whole week, right? You have a brand new one. You don't. You stick. You stick the dirty one in the wash, and then you go to the next one. You don't have to label them like Monday through Friday like I do, but you could just go by colors. But I'm colorblind, so sometimes I label my clothes. <laughs> so, but the thing is, and I'm not joking. I'm not making this up. I have Viore shorts on today, right now, recording this ad. I wear them every day. They're so comfortable. It's a hundred percent. Stand up and verify that. We have stand yeah, up and verify that. I will stand that, up please. and verify that right now. Verified. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Bennett and Rob. They just verified that I'm wearing Viore shorts. Viore is 100% offsetting their carbon footprint. They are also reducing and offsetting 100% of their plastic footprint. Who wants plastic shorts anyway? From 2019 and beyond, they're utilizing better sustainable materials for their products, empowering your best active life. Feel good about the things you buy and also how they're made. Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our listeners, they're offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash smartless. That's a V-U-O-R-I dot com slash smartless. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 and free returns. Go to viore.com slash smartless and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Smartless is brought to you in part by Audible. I got a lot of feedback, good feedback from my last Audible ad. So I'm just going to go crazy and see what happens on this one. Is everybody excited? Here we go. We're always on the go. Everyone is. And we don't have a ton of time to do the things we want, like reading. That's why we love Audible. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre, from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. All Audible members get access to a growing selection of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts that are included with membership. You can listen to all you want and more get added every month. I love Audible because it's easy to listen to. I can listen to it anytime, anywhere, when I'm traveling, when I'm working out, walking, I'm doing the chores, and I do. I walk the dog almost every other day, and I put the uh, I put my earbuds in, and I listen to Audible while I'm walking. It kills the time in the most glorious way. It's fantastic. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, or be entertained. New members can try it for free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash smartless or text smartless to 500-500. That's audible.com slash smartless or text smartless to 500-500 to try Audible free for 30 days. Audible.com slash smartless. And now back to the show. Now, what does it look like? What does it look like in another 15 years? Is there, would you love to just become uh, a, a more and more mature singer, uh, songwriter, uh, producer, or all of it? Um, you know, my currency is communication with people. You know, mm-hmm. that's what I feel like I'm put on the planet to do. Yeah, you're an excellent communicator. I watch you on American Idol, the way you speak to the contestants. I've seen Thank you in you. interviews, the way you just, the way you carry yourself as an extremely intelligent 
very succinct, uh, very. Sean, un- go ahead and ask her. He wants to know how much you make on America. <laughs> <laughs> He's desperate to know. <laughs> and by the way, he's laughing now, and he's also like, but maybe she will. Yeah. <laughs> Scratching the question off the list. Uh-huh. No, but seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd like to continue scaling uh, with that. I mean, yeah. I love music, and, you know, that has been the main, you know, that's my main tree, but I have a ton of branches, and... yeah. You know, maybe another tree. And... By the way, what about acting? Because in all your videos, I swear I'm not just saying this, you're a really talented actress. And I'm not, I can't be the first person to tell you, but in every video, I'm just like, why is she not like in a movie or something or like a Can TV I tell show? you? Can I tell yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's make some news. So, um... You and Orly are doing love letters. You're doing love letters <laughs> no, down at the Geffen. I respect what you guys do, but I think I have a little bit more fun. Oh, yeah, wow. Well, you probably do. Sorry, Listen, sorry. Just... Because I have been on set. I have, I have, you know, I've been around all the actors. I've slow. dated yeah, them, yeah. married them, blah, 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 blah. And like the amount of time that you guys sit in a trailer yeah. and then the amount of deliveries and takes you do like close up and then wide and over the yeah. shoulder. And it's just like, I just go on the stage for two hours a night and it, I do it all in in right. real time in front of a real audience. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it, I feel like I love what I do. And like, I would not not do a movie, obviously, I have ideas and dreams and I probably will in the future, but it has to be something that I'm totally like so excited for. Yeah, yeah, and it has to be the right thing. Develop and own and all yeah. that jazz because I'm, you know, it's a real communal job that you guys have. Yeah. And my job takes a team, but it's not as communal. Like the buck stops at me. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's so cool. So I'm, I'm like... I love watching films. I love, you know, I'm, I respect and admire and I'm in awe mm. of the dedication, the time spent, the yeah. effort that all y'all do. But yeah. it's just, a, it's a lot. Yeah, but you're yeah. in the studio for hours and days and weeks and then you shoot videos for hours and days and weeks. No, the you know? v- videos are just a couple of days, right? I mean, videos I'm, are I'm two not to diminished. three days. Yeah. All right. Well, calm yeah. down, everybody. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm. Try- I was looking up, uh, Katie. I was looking. I was trying to remember the name of your song. Anyway, I was just looking up, and then give it, me I, some context clues. I'll tell you. Well, we, no, it, it was roar. Sing a little bit of it. Roar, but, yeah. But oh. then the question is this. Well, it's more of a statement. So then Wikipedia <laughs> decides to tell me. That you've sold over 143 million records worldwide. You've yeah. uh, had over a billion streams on Spotify. You have nine number one U.S. singles. I'm like, what? That's what I'm saying. That's so, what I so said. when you're saying to her, Why, do you ever want to be an actress? She's like, what? what? Why the fuck no, would because I go she's do so what ta- you do, you right. tool? <laughs> I'm gonna, she's like on top no, of a mountain. it's an artistic medium. Yes, no, but have you seen her videos? She's like a really fantastic yes, actress. Yes, I have seen them. her videos. I don't it's disagree. It's amazing. Uh, what I'm saying If you is, have a two-year-old, it, it'll start eventually. Yeah. yeah. Well. Um, okay, so wait. Before we let you go, because it's been too long, you got to get back to you. Uh, you're narrating an Elizabeth Taylor podcast, which is amazing. Tell me about why. And what it's about. And uh, Elizabeth Taylor, you only talk about Elizabeth Taylor? I don't understand. Well, I'm learning so much by narrating it. Um, I, she's like one of my heroes. I mean, she just, ex, you know, she wasn't just an actress. She was an activist and expanded. She was the first influencer, I would yeah. say. You know, mm-hmm. she created a brand and, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, she had ownership. She really was such an incredible businesswoman and, you know, I'm just just so inspired by her, and and I resonate a lot with her story, and hope to, mm-hmm. you know, have as many husbands as her. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did what did she have? Seven. It's a seven, and one of them was twice. I don't know. Yeah, that that was uh, Richard Burton. Twice. Yeah. Oh, Richard old Dickie Burtz. Yeah. Oh my God. Dickie At what Burtz. point do you think she said, "Maybe it's me"? But anyway, okay. <laughs> 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 um, but last stat that I think is so impressive, and I can oh, name God, a million Sean. of them, is 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 of all halftime Super Bowl shows, yours yours is the most watched. Worth I it. I think is incredible. Whoa. Well deserved. Thank yes. you. I thought it was amazing. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Was it worth? Was it? Was it worth it? Um, Cause you know when they talk about like they're always like th- this year in the Super Bowl it's going to be Katy Perry and then they're like did you guys hear this week on this year in the Super Bowl it's going to be so and so was it that much of a thrill? You can be honest because nobody listens to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are actually really popular. I'll, I'll um, bet it was really fun. All was it fun? the apparatus. Like, was it, of was that? it no, so, fun? So, so was it everything that you wanted it to? Is it the yes, greatest? Thing yeah, it no? was everything. It was like. Um, it was really intense. Um, I, it was the most adrenaline. Um, it was like, I, I've, I had never been close to death. I had never given birth. So I had nothing compare it to compare it to those feelings seem like really intense, you know, life feelings, but it felt like it was in that same category. You don't really wish it on anyone, but, (laughs) um, you know, it's a rite of passage in some ways and it separates, I think, people and it i mean it it definitely helps catapult and you know puts you just puts you in a different thing yeah Yeah. um and it was amazing and i got to pick my um people that i I performed with which was missy elliott and lenny kravitz um but i rehearsed i rehearsed the hell out of it like you did well one of my producers for that particular show he literally had a cattle prod (laughs) <laughs> and he would run after me with this cattle prod and it just go <laughs> and I'd have to he, it was like my legs were so sore but I had to climb and mount that lion again uh-huh. and get on it uh-huh. and what you didn't see in between you know all the changes and stuff on that particular show is that I was coming down from the lion by literally doing holding onto a fire pole so I was right. like coming down the fire pole, I was changing, ripping things. I was wearing three costumes under one thing, you know. It, there was so much behind the scenes that was going on in order to, like, in order to give it that color and variety and life and just have it be the biggest thing. How long did they let you rehearse that? I don't know. I rehearsed it for months on end. but um, Really? Months? Wow. Yeah, but you only get, like, there's so much room for error. Yeah, in, yeah, of course. And it's only like it's only like ten minutes, right? Or whatever. 10, 12 minutes, yeah. And a lot of my show was based on projection. Mm. So the funny thing, well, not funny. I do a lot of projecting too. Yeah, I can. Yeah. See. <sighs> um, no, but like it has to get cer- uh, the light has to be a certain way in order for projection to work. Yeah. Right. And 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 that game was running early. So I was about to get totally screwed and something happened, the universe covered me and there were some, you know, calls or fouls or whatever um, mm-hmm. that were called that delayed the game. And finally it got dark enough that the projection would actually be read. Otherwise, I was going to oh, have God, a pretty crappy show. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's so much pressure. And so you're building up, you're rehearsing, then stuff like that happens. And it, it sort of occurs to me, I mean, not only it do you have to go and do it but you are and especially because you're a solo artist i know there are a lot of people who you work with and a lot of dancers and people of course but it's you it's your name and you're you're the ceo of Katy perry inc and and you're also the star Katy perry inc yeah you you know what i mean but you're all it's everybody's leaning on you there must be that's a lot of must be a lot of pressure when when the call comes in they're like hey Katy, they want you to do a super bowl are you like Yes, automatically. Or are you like, oh, this is risky? You have to make all these big decisions is my point. Like, it's a lot, I bet. Big risk, big reward. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. I like to, I like to roll it. I, I mean, it's admirable as hell. But, you, you, but I like to roll it with preparation. So right. when I decide to do something, I'm a super prepper. It's not yeah. by accident. So yeah. there's shows. no nerves ever for anything. Right. Like, right. opening this show in Vegas... I had been developing it for over a year. I had been on stage rehearsing it for months on end. I had everything dialed in. There were no surprises. The mm. only thing we were navigating in that time was COVID. And we were bobbing and weaving left and right because it was such a crazy time. Yeah. But um, I, the preparation makes the precision. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, and it shows in everything you do. Every single thing you do is like perfection yeah. Thanks, I love Sean. it. i really it's true. appreciate you yeah you're <laughs> drilling it you're absolutely killing it's it. true it's amazing um katie we love you thank you for being here uh please <laughs> go tend to your daughter yeah, thanks for doing this and taking yes. some time out from uh being mommy and please say hi to daddy yeah. i will i will and please say hi to other mommy amanda <laughs> yeah i will i definitely love will. her 
Thanks, guys. Thanks, well, can, I give a, can I give a shout out to my cousin Jen who listens to your podcast and she's the reason why I ultimately said yes. Jen. Oh, thanks. Jen. Thanks to Jen. Thanks, yeah. Jen. She's, she's Where, a huge, she's where's a huge, Jen? huge fan. Where's, where's Jen? Um, Jen is in LA and she just conquered um, breast cancer. So Woo! she's yes, a huge, Jen. huge fan That's great, Jen. of Congrats, you guys. Jen. And I, 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 you, Jen. she was telling me about Smartless and then you know, someone said, oh, you should do Smartless. And I was like, oh, well, my cousin really likes it and she's cool, so I'm going to do it. But I also like you guys. Very That's nice. nice. Very That's nice awesome. Well, send, Thank please, you, Katie. Please send our love to, to Jen. Well, well, we're saying it right now. Jen, we're sending you our love. Jen, we love Jen, we you. Love yeah, you. we do love you. We're happy for you. Congrats. It's awesome. We love you too, Katie. <laughs> Woo! Love you guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks for doing it. All right. See you, Bye. Bye. Oh, I forgot, to t I forgot to tell her to text me. She's never going to text me. She, you know, just text, just text what do you her. Text her, yeah. Text her. I, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't wait for the bubbles. Could you, you imagine if I had her? If I had her digits, is that what you guys say? If I had her digits, I would be texting her all day and night. Just like a bunch of like kitties on skateboards and stuff. Yeah. I just make her just throw her phone out the window. Just kooky stuff all day and night. I didn't know that she and Amanda were friends. Uh, she is. She has talked with Amanda quite a few times. Oh, I didn't um, know that. Uh, dinners and stuff with Orlando and, you know, Amanda. Amanda, 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 Amanda leaves the everybody. house at night. I do not. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm a house cat. But how great is she? Isn't, she, isn't that a nice surprise? I've never had a lengthy conversation with her. I just said hello once oh, and then oh, she I came on the show. Knew, I no, I don't know her at all. Oh. oh I just oh. met her once so fast. It was so brief. We did like a, a bit with like, This you should know. have been in the interview. God, we're bad interviewers. We're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, we're not smart. You know, no. if we were smart, we'd ask good questions. I know. We'd do research. I know. But it just occurred to me when she was talking about, and I, I, this goes for all solo artists, but just, you know, uh, how much pressure there is on her. Like, you know, it's insane. It's yeah, incredible. I did, by the way, I did even a huge enterprise. I know. Massive. Well, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you too, Arnett. Who's the CEO of Will Arnett? Yeah, I know. But, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I'm not <laughs> Katy Perry, man. She's on a, you know, she's killing it. Yeah. I it's kind of amazing. I mean, let's do, sing Roar one more time. You're gonna hear me roar. <laughs> You're gonna hear me roar. Just tickle me. Yeah. What about um? What about? I, her I other do song like that, that song. You know? So catchy. So I like. How does the fire? She's had nine number one U.S. singles. How's I mean, the firecracker one go? Um, it goes fire, um, <laughs> firecracker. Wait, wait. And I can't think of it. Of course, you I know light it, and I will spark <laughs> it. Is that? Am I close? <laughs> you start this fuse, and I will bang, bang, bang it. That's it. Listen for to the style. You. Listen to the style of music. You have too much Paul Anka. In your if life. I close my eyes, Katy Perry never left. Every song that Jason sings sounds like a Paul Anka hit. <laughs> <laughs> you are the one. Wait, how does firework? Oh yeah, go? wait. I have it here, and look, and it says firework written. Bye. Bye. Katie Perry. Beautiful. <laughs> All time best right there. That was the best one. Smart. Less. Smart. Less. Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Michael Grant Terry, Rob Armjarv, and Bennett Barbaco. Smart less. Our next episode will be out in a week wherever you listen to podcasts, or you can listen to it right now early on Amazon Music, or early and ad-free by subscribing to Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app.